Hold on a minute. Don't you think we ought to talk? What, about how I'm going to run? Sure. About how you've managed to live as long as you have. Think he can drive? Oh, he can drive. He can drive beyond the limits of the tires, the engine, the car, anything else. There's nothing I can't do with the race car. <laughs> well, that's the difference between you and me. There's only so much I can do. You want me to work the pit and you drive? You run good? Thank you. And we'll see how you do in the crowd. He's desperate to get your attention. You got it. I've walked into a jungle. Come up here and do it. I'll take you to a race. Really, I can't. I'm a doctor. I'm a cool. Think your driving can improve? I'll take your word for what a car can do, but I'm not taking anybody's word for what I can do. I don't want you to hold a bad opinion of Cole. I believe it scares him. He needs reassurance from you that he's okay. After all, uh... How could you ignore me like that? I wasn't ignoring you. You're his doctor. The driver gets his bell rung and a couple of lights flicker. And loses what he needs more than his eyesight, more than his reflexes, more than anything in the world. I've raced with my legs broke, heart bruised, eyes popping out of my head like they're on springs. He loses his need. The need to drive right out there on the ragged edge. He doesn't believe you can drive anymore. How long before you find out if you're really good? You just want to race again. Well, you're really lucky. You get back in that car, you'll die. <laughs>